<laughs> do that now um just for our other members who miss things um next is going to be sappy cow we'll start with this bubble uh, could you say that again uh, yep and what do you think that means no yeah it's um it's like saying so you don't know it's kind of how they're saying uh, it. No is just a question form of ka that is a lot like friendly. Shinai mm -hmm. no. If you just say shiranai, it's a lot, it's very like asking a question. The no kind of gives it more of like, oh, so you don't know, don't you? Kind of um, connotation. Okay, okay. Um, then I'm gonna have you do this part right over here as well. Archie got a long mm. one last time. Hi. Um, then I'll tell you one. Yes. And in, in which case I'll tell you one thing or I'll teach you one thing, which mm. the thing they're gonna teach, I'm gonna throw at Sapika. Oh sorry, Archie. Sorry. <laughs> ichiban yume. Ichiban uh, yume na ohanashi ne. So the most famous story. Yes. Is this. Yes, basically. Which is this part, which I'm also going to give you, Archie. Nana fushigi no uh, nanaban me. Yes. What does that mean? So uh, the the seventh mystery is Toyo no Hanaka san. Hanaka san of the toilet. Yes, Hanako san of the toilet. <laughs> so, yep. So, out of the seven mysteries, it's one at seventh place. Mm. Nice. And what does the me mean here? So do you know, have you ever heard of a dai ichiwa? Sorry, dai ichiwa. Uh, yeah, I think that was in the vocab sheet. Uh, we actually had dai ichi no kai was in the vocab mm -hmm. sheet, which, um, sorry. All right. It's, it's like weird. Um, so Daiichi no Kai means the first mystery. And it's kind of like a play on Daiichi wa, which means first chapter. So this book doesn't do um, chapters. Instead, they call it the first mystery, the second mystery. They just wanted to be special. But wa is chapters in manga and also anime episodes. Well, Daiichi Sho. Sorry, Daiichi Sho. Um, going on there but yeah daiichi sho would be first chapter in like a novel so dai so sho is what means story so one story same with ichi no kai means one mystery the dai part of it doesn't really have a deep meaning it kind of means other numbers exist within this category kind of so it's saying that this story has more than one chapter is basically what it's saying so meh is the exact same thing, but just used for different words. So it just means that if you had ichiban me, for example, ichiban me, that would tell us there's more than just one ban. <laughs> there's more than just one number. Um, so nanaban me, so you wouldn't just say nanaban because it's kind of weird to say number seven, because like, what about the other numbers? Weren't there like a six at some point? So that's just kind of um Japanese counter thing going on. Okay, got it. Thank you. Wait, I have a question. Yes. Uh what if it's on the last number for example, this one, uh, there's seven, right? 
that's the oh wait never mind <laughs> yes um so this it's, is telling yeah. you the number of mysteries that exist so none of unman just means we're at the location of number seven versus of the existence of seven things the nana fushigi means that there's a total of seven stories so it's kind of like mm -hmm. hard to wrap your hand around in that but it's kind of like how um uh just like if you had numbers on a list and you're like, oh, I want what's on number four, but like, it's not about how many things are at in your list or anything. It's just the one item that is at that location. Um, okay, okay. Um, Thank you. Uh, could you say that one more time? Oh, I was looking at the chapter. Oh, yeah, that's no right down there. Okay, next is Seppi Cow. Yes, so that is this one right here. Joshi mm. Toyde. Yep. Mm. I kind of oh. don't really understand the whole sentence, but some words you know. Yeah, it's all about um, dividing it into small parts. You know what uh, kyukosha means? No, I don't know that. Uh, so this one right here in the Anki deck was split up as Q and Kosha. So Q means old or former, so it's no longer in use. And Kosha is made up of, of the kanji like um, Gakko no Ko, right there, this, this guy. Uh, so it means old school building, Q Kosha. So this school building is no longer in use. They moved to a new location, basically. How about Sankai? You know what that means? On the third floor. Yes. So they're on the third floor and joy she toyde. That part's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, the girls. Yep, the girls' bathroom. So next is Okukara Sanbanme. So this part's actually kind of hard because you don't normally see these words together. Um, do you know what oku oku means? Uh uh. I don't really know, but I think in this context, does it mean like the, um, the toilet compartments? Uh, what do they <laughs> The rooms? Kind of. <laughs> it it means um if you're going into the depths of something. So basically, you've entered the bathroom and you're going oku, which means you're basically like going forward into it. The sanban me though is actually what we're talking about. Those stalls. We don't have a counter for those stalls, but we got the third right here, which in this context, we kind of know that there's one stall, two stall, three stalls. There could be more, there could be like a fourth stall. We don't really know. We know at the third stall inside of the girl's bathroom on the third floor on the abandoned school building. So that's our number three right there. Um, and this part right here, Archie, you can translate this with iru rather than ite. Soko ni wa hanako san ga iru. Um, that, that's where hanaka san is. Yes. And now I'm going to have you do this part as well, Archie. Yes. So you accidentally read this with a te. Yes. What does this mean? Um, so when you uh so when humans so like 
summon with a wish mm. so this is kind of it's 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 kind of hard to like kind of get that but the thing that's being yobi dashita is hanako-san mm, okay but the negai does belong to the hito so the hito have a negai and um but yobi dashita is hanako-san so when you call Hanako-san with a wish, Hanako-san, um, uh, I think like Hanako-san will grant that wish. Yeah, that is exactly what it's saying. So the wishes will be granted um, by the people who... the. the the people who call him, their wishes will be granted. And um, down here is going to be Sepika. Oh, oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought I was... Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. What did I say? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 hikikai means, yes, but so hikikai de means to like swap or take an exchange. Ah, uh, so but in exchange, Hanako mm -hmm. will take uh, what's important from you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and that's what is said about it, basically. And now we're talking about the <laughs> uh, so, Archie, on a guy, she must. Yobi da shi katana katawa. Um, Yobi da sorry, Yobi da shi katawa. Uh, noku o san kai. Yes. So, um, in order to call Hanako-san, you have to knock thrice. Yes. Sore kara, which is and. And now we're kind of like jumping onto, out of the description into what you do. And Archie, what do you to Hanako-san, Hanako-san, irashai masu ka? Hanako-san, Hanako-san, please come or welcome. I think irashai maska is more like, are you here? Like very like, oh. like irashai mase, which is what they say when you enter into a store. Right. So you're just being like, are you here, Hanako-san? It's just like the phrase for this. And he goes, hi, which is, you know, yep. And of course you open it, it's empty. Phew, 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 phew. It is empty. Thank goodness. And sepikau. なんだ、なんだ、気のせい。うん。でいつまあ、あれですよね。Could yeah, I, that sounds right. Nanda kinose, which is like, yep, it was just my imagination, which was seeing the hand and someone going, hi. However, kochi da yo, I'm over here. Kochi, kochi. Oh, kawaii. Ah. And Sabika, I'll have you do this one as well. Uh, is this a voice? Voice? Yes. And last part. Uh, 
大丈夫、うん、Are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? 大丈夫大丈夫<笑> And for this box, Archie, お願いします。あ、すけるからだ。OK。すけるからだ。あ、um... uh,、What is the first character? む。むかし。むかしの制服、ひとだま。Yep. So we're kind of like listing items right here. So transparent. Body. Yep. Um. Mukashi. Mukashi, Mukashi. Arutokoro ni. Is where you often hear that. But you might be more familiar with Furui. Old? Yep. Mukashi means long ago. Ah,、uh, Mukashi. So. Long ago,、um, Seifuka's uniform. Yep. So it's an old uniform and Hitodama. That was in the vocabulary list. Yeah, so Hitodama is a Japanese specific word. So it doesn't exist really in English. It's these things right here. Which disembodied are,、souls. yes, disembodied souls. I saw on the wedding calendar, they also had fiery demon thingies. <laughs> <laughs> Which was kind of funny. I was like, who put that there? <laughs> But I kept it anyway. Because, like, if you didn't know what disembodied soul meant,、uh, you might be a little like, what are these things? Well, they're fiery ball things. So that's what they traditionally look like. The idea of what the human soul is a little swir swirly ball. You'll see these a lot in anime. This, the last kanji means soul. Um, tamashi. Tamashi. Yes.、Uh, That is tamashi. Hito no tamashi. And, they, and it's pronounced like dama, like, like, uh, there, like ball. Yeah, I, I, think, I think that's the kanji used in gintama, like the anime. <laughs> it's definitely possible. I believe that.、Uh, then Yashiro goes, Anata wa you. You are, and he responds with this、uh, Sabika. So, Kai has the same meaning basically as Yure, if you know that word.、Oh, I'm a ghost. Yes. I am the ghost. Yes, I am a ghost. And this is actually used in the title, car title which is E. Which was、um, Daichi no Kai.、Oh. That Kai is from Kai. So, yes, the first mystery, or I am a ghost. So, you, it might not mean like, it doesn't just like mean ghosts, but also like monsters and stuff, supernatural things. And、mm -hmm. also, this、uh, Sapika.、Uh, はい。And I am, the, I am the seventh mystery out of the seven mysteries of the school. Of the, school. The, se the school seven mysteries number seven. And she goes, Anataka, Hanako san? You, you, you are Hanako? So, so, de, so, na, oh. so, na no uso, which is such a thing must be a lie. And then she has some very good arguments about why it's a lie.、Uh, Archie, on your guys' mouth. Okapa wa Akai Akai Sukato wa 
So the, the, a bob haircut and red skirt. Yep. Uh, shikamo otoko no kodashi. Yes. This is a like a boy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she goes like hapawa, which is like, where's your hapa? Where's your red skirt? Not only that, shikamo, you're a boy. And the she is just like telling you, she's like listing multiple reasons here. So oppa ga nai shi, akai shikato wa nai shi, otoko no ko da shi. Like it's a, just listing a bunch of reasons why he doesn't really fit the Hanako-san image, which is a girl with a bob-haired cat and a red skirt. She's a very well-known um, mystery in Japan. Oh. And um, I'll have Archie do this part as well. Uh, so you know. Saikin. Uh, uh, oh, Saikin. It definitely looks like keen, key keen right there. Saikin wa hayaranai da yo ne. It's kind of hard. What does Saikin mean? Uh, Saikin is uh, recent, recent, in recent times. Yes. And how about Hayara Nain da yo ne? Like latest fashion, I think is what, this yeah. is my vocabulary. <laughs> yep. That is exactly what it's meaning. It's interesting that the, he has it in like past tense, like potential past, tense. like it's a weird form to put it in. But like we know he's definitely being like, oh yeah, so you, which is like that kind of thing, has definitely been popular as of late, which is the idea that Hanako san has a bob hair, red skirt, is a girl. That's been very popular. And he goes, uh Sapika, kore. Uh Hanako Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's that's the normal e yo. Don't think too hard on the katakana. You can also call Hanako. Yep. Oh, you can no, it's like you can also call me Hanako. Yep. That's exactly what it is. You can also call me Hanako-kun. And it says, Kai ni hayari ga aru no? Which is like, there are fads in with the mysterious ghost people. <laughs> uh, I have another question. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, the iyo is what? It's okay, right? Like, yep, iyo. Yep, that is the normal... E no, it's good. So yon demo e da yo. I'm um. Sonako san likes to use random katakana, and it's kind of oh. common for ghosts to get that. Same with like this book has like an interesting way how they write things. Like a lot of times they'll have just a line rather than doing the u for long things like so you. Oh. So it's just a writing cl- uh quirk of this author oh, okay. and this part right here Archie onigaishimasu Ashkani ore wa otoko da yo demo seibetsu ikai yo I mean uh, ikai wa uh, kimi ga kita Uwasa? Yes. Uwasa no tori. Uh, okay, so the 
first part's pretty easy. Tashkani, ori wa otoko da yo. What does ori wa otoko da mean? Um, sure, definitely I'm a boy. Yes. Demo. But. So, what does igai mean? Um, outside or? Yes, it basically means um, outside, outside of. of the thing that precedes it. So, seibutsu igai. So, not counting this. So, outside what? Outside of my gender. Yes. Kimi ga kita. What you heard? Yes. And the thing they heard was a uwasa. Um, oh, I don't know what uwasa is. Oh, uwasa means rumor. Oh, so okay. the rumor you heard, no is, tori. The rumor you heard is true. Basically, yes. It's basically like just the same as your, um, the, as the rumors. So it, it kind of means like true, but if you ever heard um, uh, all according to Keikaku, Keikaku, uh, the same, uh, he says in Japanese, Kikaku Dori, which is that same Tori, which is all according to plan. So it has like a all according to, like correct, but like that whole like the wasa, that is the way things are kind of. So like it is correct, but it's not like tadashi no correct, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, next is Sappy Cow. Hmm. They should we uh don't know what that means. Um yeah, uh uh so do you know what uh daisho means? Oh no. No, uh daisho is like compensation. It the die part means like like the price of something and show is kind of like money or like prize or things like that so daisho is compensation mm. and the compensation is nanika hitotsu which is one thing of something i don't know what but something is taken as um compensation for um the negai and what does negai mean wish yeah and kanaidu means to grant that wish and yobi dashita mono Is, yeah, it's it's the person who summoned somebody. So like yobi is to call out and dashi means to like so so yobi is to call out and dashi is to like come out. So the person who called mm -hmm. for someone to come out. So the summoner basically, yobi dashita mono. That person's negai. So altogether it's um in return for granting someone's wish, I need to receive some kind of compensation. Mm. And um, what's been dropped off right over here is Nigai. And Archie, what do you guys Actually, actually you should read this whole thing. Kimi ni mo arundaru kikasete yo negai goto. So do looks like this. Uh, yes. Um, well, like since you're you're like you're here. Mm. That is a good guess, but does Yashiro like have feelings and exist? We have Aru right here. Mm. If it was that, it'd be Kimi ni mo iru. Okay. Would be you're you're here. 
But what happened, as I kind of vaguely mentioned a second ago, but I was really fast about it, is that something's been dropped off. And that was negai goto. So, kimi ni mo negai goto ga arun daro is the complete sentence. Okay. Um, so your, your wish, if you have it, um, like tell me or like I'll hear it. Uh, altogether, that's basically what it means. That's the kikasete yo. Mm -hmm. So, kimi ni mo negai goto ga arun daro means like for you as well, you obviously have some kind of wish. So, let mm -hmm. me hear it is uh, what that's saying. Mm -hmm. Since, you know, she went out of the way to call for him. Mm -hmm. And now she's like, ooh. And um, Sapika. お願いします。うん。本当に。ただの。ただの変態幽霊じゃないね。はいはいはい。のね。うん。Are <笑> He's haunting the girl's bathroom. <laughs> and he goes, Mo e sayonara. Which is like, okay, I'm done. Goodbye. And there's a sayonara written in katakana. Ah! And yeah, Sapika. Let's do this one as well. So, 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 Hentai Janai, Kakui yo. Uh, it's a lie, it's a lie. Uh, the, 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 the boy version of Hanukkah is yep. cool. It's, yep. Like that. That, that's uh, a good okay. way of putting it. Okay. And Uso Uso, that's a lie, that's a lie. The Hentai <laughs> no Bubun, this ne? And he goes, Kakui. I'm cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um Archie, on you guys must so de ja onamai to negai o boom boom. This is a sound effect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um what is the name of your wish or um, so the to part mm -hmm. is actually just the normal and version of to. It's not like to omo oh. or to ita, but that is a really good guess. And that is like a good pattern to notice. But in this case, he wants her name and, and her wish. <laughs> it's and see his little piece of paper. He's like, oh, I'm so excited to learn your name. Um, and I'll have you do this as well, Archie. Uh, hi. Is that? Uh, so this is a small two. So oh. in Japanese, sometimes they just put that there. It doesn't really change how it's around. So it's like hi or hi. It, it just kind of did the. Eh. <laughs> just ignore it whenever you see it. It doesn't really do anything. Go to the um a a gumi. Yashiro ne ne des. So, uh, high school, first year of A class, Yashiro ne ne des. Yes. It is Yashiro ne ne. <laughs> yes, Yashiro ne ne is her name. And this little bubble right over here, because you did that perfectly, I'm sorry, I mentioned this. This is just some very messy handwriting of saying uh, igai to tanju, which is basically, um, unlike what I thought, he's very um, simple. So much tanju. But yeah, <laughs> reading that, very hard. Good job, Wani Kani. Um, next is Sapika. Kore, onigaishimasu. Mm, you nice. 
Yep, omoi. Ryo omoi. Oh, ryo omoi ni narin, narita imasu. Oh, the person is I write is about to something, something. So this ne. So ryo omoi. Uh, sometimes they use weird kanji. That's what um Wane Kani Dak actually like notes that in there in like the back area. But um ryo omoi means like mutual love. So, seems pretty simple. What does sikina hito mean? Mm. The, uh, the person she likes. Yes. Right now? Uh, ima is like now and sugu is like right away. So, she wants right away for um, this to nari, naritai. What does that part mean? Uh, she wants to be like, I don't know how to explain. She wants, yeah, she, I, I'm just, yeah, she just wants to be with the mm. person she likes. Yeah, she, she wants. Uh, there would be mutual love between them right now, immediately. So mm -hmm. Tai is the want, but yes, no, this is her wish. And the Nani is the to become. So to become uh, both in love, basically. And um, Archie, kore, onegaishimasu. ne. Negai goto wa Ren? Yep. Okay. Ren, Ren, I, Ren, I, Joshu. Close. That looks like a shoe, but it's actually a do. Yep. Okay. It's very, very tiny little 10 10 mark. You can almost see it. So, Jashiro ne, what does that part mean? Is that her name again? It is her name again. So, he doesn't necessarily know the katakana in her name. So, we know, she knows her name. She's like, yes, I'm Yashiro Nene. She has their katakana stuck in her head. But she didn't do the anime thing when they start uh, describing how their name is made out of. So, he's like, okay, Yashiro. And he, like, writes in his book because he's taking notes. So he writes the katakana version down because he has no <laughs> idea what kanji her name is made out of. So we got Yashiro right down there. And then he goes, okay, negai koto. And that part means? Uh, like, as for your wish. Yes. Um, and this is kind of um, what her wish is. When I jo jo. So joshu um, isn't a very common word. It, it means like fulfillment. So he's basically just like writing like he wants her love to be fulfilled, basically. Hmm. Then I would be loved then. Yes, then I. And then he goes, this is connected with that. To aite wa. What does that mean? Is that right? Uh, it actually doesn't mean that. Aite means like the partner so who does the person she likes is basically what that is and this whole big section i'm going to give to sappy cow starts there and goes down there Nambaro. <laughs> Yes. So uh, it's a second class person by. Yeah, I have no idea what cool. his name is. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I Can looked at that and I was like, I have no idea what's written there, but I'm too lazy to Google it. So I just like okay. called them senpai in our <laughs> example <laughs> sentences. I just went, whenever I see his name, I'm like, okay, there's senpai again. I don't know what his name is. It's like Minamoto, maybe. Oh, that is definitely Minamoto. Oh, I, I kind of um, watch the answer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he's cool and then he's smart yep. and then he's kind to everyone he's an amazing person and he's the school's uh, prince yes I yep perfect and just the thing to keep in mind for a letter thing he is in, he's a second grade high school student Yashiro is a first year high school student. They're both in high school. And I think that's the end of that page. Next page, where are you? Oh, did I go more than one? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and Archie, kore, onegaishimasu. Wakata Kimi no Negayo Kanayo Um I understand your your wish will be granted. Basically, yeah. And she's just like, Yatta Yay haha. And then Sapika, Kore Onigashimas. Just uh, how do you uh, grant someone's wish? Yes, how do you grant your wish, Hanako-san? And Archie, on you guys. Yapari, Tokubet na dog or dog. Dog. Uh, um, do, you, do you use a special uh what is dog so dog means tool so ah, in this okay. picture it looks like a magical ball but any kind of tool works okay Toka. Do you use a special tool? Yeah. And what does toka add to this? Um, like you, um, I'm not sure. So toka is kind of like etc. in this case. So like, do you use something like a special tool or? Mm. And his response is this sappy cow. So, yeah, don't think too hard. You definitely know what this is. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, I have. Oh, I I brought the 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 amazing thing. Wait, is that what you say? So, sugoi means amazing. <laughs> so, 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 sugo sugoi no motenda, and they're talking about dogu. This neck. She's like, oh. Yeah, you definitely have like some kind of special tool for for being able to grant the wish, right? And he's like, yeah, 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 I have something. Sugoi. And I have it right with me. He's digging out in his pocket. And she goes, Sugoi no? She's like, wow, it's like awesome. Ooh, and she's like excited. And and it's like, hi, oh my goodness. It's a how-to hon, a how-to book. And it says, Nabu no mesubi. Wait, meso something. Meso do? Well, love, like love and kore ga ai. This is love. <laughs> ma, ma. 
And um, Archie, お願いします。わかってると思うけど。Um, This is、um, Kai, but it doesn't have Kai written on top of there, but I'm just letting you know what it is. Kai no chikara o karir kara ni wa so no dai sho o s h i h a r a t e morao. So these have a couple of kind of hard words.、Um, I just thought I'd let you know this right here is actually ore. Oh, wait, why is it ore? That's that, that, or boku. It's one of those two. What does boku look like?、Uh, it's, it's one of those two. I can't see it right now, but I, I know it's that for some reason.、Um, and he's basically, so what he's saying out loud is like, I. Is what he's saying out loud. That's why they have that written over there. But what he means is like Kai in general. So you can translate it either way. It's one of those things that would get lost in an English translation, but are fun things they can do in Japanese. <laughs>、uh, so Kai no Chikara. What does that mean? Power of a ghost. Yes. Kariru?、Um, Kariru. Um, it's kind of like ageru, but you get it back at some point. Oh,、uh, to borrow. Yes, kariru, to borrow. So, to borrow a ghost power. Kara ni wa so o. Do you know what that means?、Uh, that one is like a suitable. Yeah, you remember that from the vocab list? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes, a suitable daisho. We've heard that earlier. Daisho. Daisho. We're talking about what happens if he lets her bar- borrow his power. Do you remember?、Uh, um... Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, daisho means、um, basically like a cost exists. So,、oh, a suitable hey, cost. Hey. Yeah. And s h i h a r a o is just the action of you know, paying Pay. that cost.、Mm-hmm. And morao is obviously who's benefiting from this? Hanako san desu ne. He's <laughs> going to receive that object. And、um, this. Part right here, Sapi Cow.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really mm-hmm. close. So It's actually it...、um, Jin T. Yeah.、Oh. Jin T. Koyeru. Nazara? Oh, it's actually Chikara. What? <laughs> Oh, it's the previous one. Uh, Karu Chikara. Uh, Hassu? I think that's Ho. Ho Sureba. Oh, Ho Sureba. Soredake, uh, Dai Shou no, uh, Omoku Narunda. So, Ho Suru has the same meaning of Ho Si. It also has the same kanji.、Mm. Mm. So, jin chi was one of our <laughs> vocab words.、Um, apparently, this is kind of weird for it. It should look like this hito and shiru from shirimas, if you know that word. Shiru.、Mm. To know. So, jinchi is like knowledge, specifically like the amount of knowledge a human being could possibly obtain. So, it's like knowledge, but it's not like the knowledge a god has, basically. So, it's the possible knowledge for a human being, jinchi. That's why it has hito in it. And also, why we have koeru coming up right afterwards. 
Jinchi o koeru. You know what that means? No. So let's say we have a little line about how much a human being can know. And then we have like how much a god can know or something. So koeru means to cross. So basically to cross over or to like, like basically to surpass the jinchi, basically. So that kind of chikara, so the power to gain knowledge that no human should gain is basically what the jinchi o koeru chikara means. Uh, and if you hosureba, sono mono, <laughs> which is if, if you wanted um, the power to surpass human knowledge, then sore dake daisho mo omoku narunda. What does that mean? Sorry, that you is that only that omoku uh, is from omoi. Oh, oh, not that omoi. This omoi, and it means like heavy. If you can, uh, uh, carry that heavy burden. Something kind of what is what is daisho like over here we had sai daisho and so daisho the cause uh it's like the compensation and oh, yeah, compensation. yeah and so meant mm -hmm. suitable so we were told in the line before that if you borrow a ghost's power then you will have to pay a suitable compensation for example, if you ha had the wish to surpass human knowledge, then the daisho will also be omoku, which is heavy. Um, but it's to the extent of um, whatever the compensation would be for wanting that. So basically it's saying that the compensation changes depending on what you want. It can be heavy or it can be light, depending on how much power you kari do. Um, so then he says this, uh, Sabika. Mm -hmm. yes. Because of that, this, this is safe. Yes. To the extent of this book, basically. So, um, mm -hmm. so you know, I'm not gonna like charge you something expensive because we can just use this book. Like, you want me to help you with your love life? I use the book, barely any compensation. This is the way we should do it. This is nice, this is safe, not heavy at all. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna be our last line of the day, Archie. Oops. Ah. So right over here, I, I wanted to note that it's demo. So it's important So it's just important because like mote is like a different word. We gotta split it up. Oh, demo. <laughs> Wait, sorry, is it sore de motte or? Nope, it's sore de oh, Sore de motte. De. Okay. <laughs> totally different meanings. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, so ne nevertheless, um, that up. So it's basically saying like, if I really wanted him to use like his powers, like I don't want this stupid book. I want a much more omoi daisho and get a much like more magical um, way to get my love to be uh, returned is basically what she's saying. She's like, I don't want to do it the hard way is what she's saying. Just, just let me pay more up front. And that is where we'll be dropping off for the day.